Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, well, uh, I have two kids, my grandsons, who go to school. Um, our regular school system isn't open yet, but they go to the Upper Valley Career Center, so they their, their first day was last Thursday. Uh, what they do is they take the A class, or the A group and the B group, and my two grandsons are the B group. So, um, they go today, Tuesday, they're off Wednesday, and then they go Thursday, Friday. So, this is their long week. Um, I'm really so happy for both of them. Uh, my one grandson, he's a little tall, skinny guy, and he decided to take egg power, and he loves it. I was so proud of him this morning. He hopped out of bed. Now, mind you, last year it was a real struggle for him and me. Um, he would just drag his feet to go to school. I mean, half the time we were late. But this time he hopped out of bed. He come out. He made him um, an instant breakfast to drink. Um, he stood around for a while, and he said, well, I probably shouldn't have got up this early. I said, well, this is what you do. You get up early, then you got some time to think, wake up, um, you can get dressed, and then, you know, it's all good. Well, you know, the other one, he went to, he got up right after Andrew, and he got him a drink, and they were just laughing and joking together, which did my heart good, and, um, the one went and took a shower. Andrew, he's my, he was, well, he still is kind of like my sweet problem child. Um, but, you know, he he's all excited. He loves his class at the career center. He just loves it. Uh, yeah, that would be like, you know, my older grandson went to Egg Power, but he's a big guy. But, you know, Andrew, he's this tall, skinny kid. And, uh, you know, we're talking size 30 jeans, you know. Uh, but, you know, he's always been interested in motors. Always. And this just excites him. It excites me. Um, he got dressed. He was out here in the kitchen getting his uh, computer ready to go. And uh, he said, it's 721, Grandma. What's Joe doing? I said, I don't know. What's Joe doing? I said, you don't have to leave till 7.35. And he's like, oh, okay. So, you know, and then he's like in there, you ready to go, Joe? You ready to go? Finally, they left. They're riding the bus. It's been a long time since they rode the bus. But they go down there early. Um, and I can sit here in the kitchen and I walk them, watch them walk down the sidewalk. And uh, then that's all I see of them until... I see the bus go by here, and they go back out. Um, but the bus was kind of late picking them up. Supposed to pick them up at 7.45. And I guess the bus is giving some kids uh, a chance to get there. Because they're supposed to leave at 7.45. Uh, but it wasn't until 8 o'clock they went rolling by. And they get picked up like two blocks away from here. And then they get dropped off, and they come home. They have no problem. They have to sit together in the same seat because they're from the same family. And they have to wear their face mask and use sanitizer when they get on and off the bus. And uh, I told them they needed to eat lunch at school. I said, because, you know, you need to eat something. They were on free lunches last year, but I think they're on reduced lunches this year. So, um, I gave them each 40 cents to keep in their pocket. And if, you know, they have to pay reduced, they can pay for it. But I told them, make sure you eat. So, that's my happy morning starting out. Um, also, yesterday, my one grandson, Austin... Ooh, that's too hot. Um, he went with me yesterday. I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree. I had a little money on my card. And uh, I wanted to get 
Um, oh, I needed to get cinnamon, and um, I wanted to get some pepper flakes, because I like to put them in my pickles when I make them, which my garden's been giving us a lot of pickles, so I've made a lot of refrigerator pickles, which they're good for up to, I would say, six weeks. And uh, I've made uh, Amish sweet pickles. I've made bread and butter pickles, I've made sliced dill pickles, and I've made pickle spears. And, um, I've been doing that. I've made, the other day, I baked seven loaves of zucchini bread. I gave two of them to my daughter and her boyfriend, because her boyfriend loves that. And then I froze three, and I kept one out. And it's half of it still there. But it's really good. I, I really like it. It's the first recipe I've come across I really like. And this lady makes it by, I, she makes it one loaf at a time. But I feel you can make two loaves at a time. And, um, which that's not overstretching, you know, the ingredients. And so, um, I made that. I, um, I also had a squash and some leftover zucchini. I mean, a couple big ones. Um, I like to use the smaller zucchini to make bread with because the bigger ones, when they get the seeds, um, they seem to dry up just a little bit. So I peeled them, washed them, peeled them, uh, cut them in pieces, and took seeds out. I did the same thing. I think it was an acorn squash, or could have been, I don't know. I got them for my brother. And I parboiled them, then I shocked them, and I um, dried them off and put them in uh, large gallon bags and let them, you know, kind of set for a few minutes, and I put them in the freezer. So you could pull them out, uh, put broccoli and cauliflower with them, um, and my daughter likes to make all gratin um vegetables which you and carrots you can do that with them you can also throw them in spaghetti i mean vegetable soup and i also got three bags uh sandwich bag sizes each with a cup and a half of uh grated zucchini in the freezer so i can still well i can still make three more um loaves I am getting some, um, ve uh, my tomatoes are coming on slowly, but they're coming on. Um, I'm still getting cucumbers out of my few cucumbers I have. They're throwing out quite a bit. I have one, uh, pickling cucumbers, um, uh, that, uh, my good friend Sue gave me, and, uh, it grew a pickle through our chain link fence and probably through the chicken wire and we can't get it out. It kind of grew in there. So I have to go out and figure that one out. Also have a little, uh, had a rabbit that had babies up close to the house hidden where the animals didn't see it. And there's a baby out there. It was in the garden. It just kind of stays back. I know it's still out there because Ruben's sniffing around looking for it. And, um, yeah, I, it's all good. I don't care, you know. Uh, the one thing I don't think I'll plant again is herbs. Didn't do good for me. Definitely didn't do good with me. Uh, we got peppers coming on out there. Um, I'm just waiting for them to get a little bigger and fill out. Um, because if you get them and they're too young, the seed pods aren't even you know, doing anything inside, so I'm going to wait for that, and, um, what else have I been doing, oh, I went to the dollar store yesterday, and I told you I got the spices and stuff, um, I got some forks, and I wanted to get some bowls, but I didn't have enough money, so I'll get them in another time, um, let's see, what all did I get? I got the spices, the one I really like. Hold on and I'll get it.
I'm back. Sorry. Um, I got a, you know, in the bathroom. Sometimes you don't have places to hang your towels. And I, from the dollar store, I got, um, uh, you hang it on your door hooks. So I put that on the back of the door so they can put their towels on there. Um, let's see. Try and think of everything I got. I got my grandson a bottle of Mexican uh, pop. Um, I was looking for some luncheon meat, but they didn't have it out there. But um, I really like this uh, Badia's Complete Seasoning. This stuff's really good. Really good. And the only place I've been able to find this is at the Dollar Tree. And I'm sure, well, people down south know where to find it. I'm sure the rest of you do. Uh, this is wonderful. I love this stuff. So I bought me three of these. And then, of course, I'm always running out of, I got a lot of garlic powder, but I didn't have no onion powder. So I got one of these. And these are all a dollar. And I got... I like to put these crushed red peppers flakes in pickles and stuff, or even in the sweet pickles. It just gives them a little heat. I don't like them hot, but heat. And then my grandson Austin likes to cook with these. So I told him, don't be using up all my crushed red pepper. Uh, and then, of course, I had to buy some more ground cinnamon so I can make some more zucchini bread. And I do think I put a little bit of cinnamon in my banana bread. I'm not sure. And then I found this 10.5 ounces of Memphis-style barbecue seasoning. It's a pretty big bottle compared to these other ones that are 2.5. And this, you know, it was a dollar. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I got there. Um... I mean, things are slipping my mind what all I got. Um, I did, my grandson, he, God love him, he, he's, he's going to be 21, but, you know, he likes to go in with me, and he stays right around me and helps me, and we're walking down the aisle, he said, look, Grandma, poo spray. And I said, really, how much is it? Of course, a duh, it's Dollar Tree, dollar. So, uh, I said, well, get one. We got lemon. He said, there's lavender, too. I said, well, we'll just, and that stuff really works. It really works. So, might have to go out and get some more of that. Um, but, of course, you know, I did wear my mask. There was a lot of people going in there that didn't wear a mask. Uh, but Austin and I wore our masks in there. And, uh, I don't know, it was uh, kind of a nice day. And then today just tops it off with Andrew's. It's just a milestone for him. A milestone, I'm telling you. And then uh, Miley, she's going to set out this semester and do homeschooling. But then she has to go to school in November. Miley, what? do you go to school in November? No, I'm talking about going to school, school. Um, okay. Uh, she's homeschooling for one semester. That's all they'll let them do. And then she goes back to school. She'll go in in, in November. And uh, that, that's the way they're doing it. Um, so, um, she'll be home. Um, and uh, Miley... She got a really nice scooter for her birthday, so she's been waiting for that. And I'm not going to say patiently, because it has not been patient. So anyway, she got that yesterday. Uh, my brother, my older brother, called me up um, last night, and he asked me if I wanted some more pickles and acorn squash and stuff. And I said, well, yeah. 
Um, he said, are you canning any pickles? And I said, well, I can't, I can't. I can't find no lids and rings. I think I already told you guys that. Cannot find lids and rings. So um, I told him, yeah, I can use the cucumbers, you know. Um, you can cut them up and put them in pasta salad. Just cut them up with uh, tomatoes and onions and put vinegar on them. And just eat them with your meals as a side dish. Um, my mom used to love to fry cucumbers. I know those are good. And um, I, oh, you can you can fry zucchini too. I haven't tried that. Um, I see where you can make zucchini pickles, but I remember when a cousin of mine made them. I I didn't like them, so I don't think I will venture to try that. Um, but what I do have in my garden is, and it's a small one, and my uh, grandson Weston, who went to the Navy, he decided to put up a fence for me, my sister gave me, to make me a little garden, and all the boys helped him, um, and so, you know, I'm happy about that. Um, of course, he went to the Navy, Weston. He was in two-week quarantine, which they tested him, and my daughter didn't get a phone call, so that means he he went to basic then after that. So he's in basic now, and of course we're not going to know anything until three or four weeks. But you know, it's like one mother said, you know, you can't worry about them now. Um, it doesn't matter if they're in the Navy, the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, uh, you know, Coast Guard, whatever. That, you know, the Navy will take care of him. It, it's not up to moms or grandmas to make sure he has what he needs. Uh, our job in that end's done. It almost feels like you don't even have him as a grandson or a son anymore because the Navy has him. Um... So right now, our rights, yeah, he's my grandson, but right now, he's the property of the United States Navy. So, um, you know, we can't go busting in an air and saying, how dare you do this and stuff like that, because it's none of our business. Unless he gets hurt, mm -hmm, then it's my business. Uh, <laughs> I did get a huge tomato outside. I had one big one that finally turned. So I let it get orange and then I picked it off because I'm just impatient. And I put it in the window so it can finish getting ripe. I have had some ripe um, cherry tomatoes and they're really good. I love them. Um, but, you know, it's just... Uh, my brother says, well, just wait, the end of August, end of September, the tomatoes will start coming out. I hope so. I hope I don't get hit in the butt with a rush of them because, you know, it's nothing like, oh, you know, garden tomatoes are wonderful. But when you got like two bushels sitting here and you don't know what else to do with them, you know, if I had a canner and some lids and stuff, I would be in a canning ball canning book, I would probably can them, you know, I've even seen people can meat, but they use pressure cookers, and I don't like pressure cookers, so, uh, I guess if I'm going to stock up on stuff, I will do it with, uh, like the pantry gives me canned meat, pork, chicken, beef, turkey, um, and then I've got canned, uh, their canned hams in there, which really, um, yeah, it's ham, but it's broken up and more stuff added to it. So you could basically call it a big can of Spam. But I like Spam. Well, I don't really like Spam. Spam. It's not like I remember as a child. It's not that way. I like the cheaper brands. Um, those taste pretty much to what I was used to, and, um, I don't know, when I was a kid, I loved that jelly on this fam. Yeah, I'm weird, but I loved that. Uh, so, 
Yeah. I was looking for stuff like that because um, I don't know if any of you have heard, but there are some things you need to prepare to stock up on, and that is corn. Actually, any canned foods. Uh, because for some reason, they're not going to use cans anymore, I heard. So, you know, and plus they had that thing in Iowa, the like an inland hurricane or something, cyclone or something. And so, you know, there was like all that corn that was destroyed, which is going to raise the price of corn. And um, so uh, stock up on your corn, your green beans, your peas, whatever is your favorites. Um, you know, because prices will start going up with them. Um, you know, all I can say is, you know, don't hoard, but stock what you like and what you need. Like, you know, I even heard they've, uh, um, they've had a bad, uh, luck with some cucumbers now. So it might be a shortage of pickles. Get your pickles now. Um, I'm talking about processed pickles. If you have a garden, can your pickles. But you know, canned pickles don't exactly taste the way processed pickles do. But then again, that's why they're canned. Or, you know, we can stuff. It doesn't taste the same, but it tastes good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else he said. Oh, coffee. They've had some trouble in uh, South America with the coffee. Um, all of Spain's had trouble with some, um, like, cold weather or something like that that have did something to the olive crops. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things going on. So if you see things and, and um, you know, it's not that expensive, but it's something that, well, I better get this. Go ahead and get you two or three and put them back. Because you don't know if maybe there might come a time you won't be able to or they'll be expensive. Um, of course, see, I wouldn't really buy canned beef in the store. It's too expensive. It's usually 4 to $5, but now it's rising to about $7 for, I think, a 28-ounce can. And that's a little pricey. I mean, what I get from the pantry is what they're charging $7 for. And so, you know, I'll just go to the pantry and I can get my canned meat and put it up. And plus it comes in handy. Um, you know, I, I've made chicken salad from it. My family love it when I mix uh, the pork with um, stuffing. I call it dressing. And bake it. That's really good. Um, I guess in an... The North, we call things different. Uh, we call Popeye. Um, ours is the flat noodles that we call Popeye that we make. Uh, then there was, uh, and there are people in the South call them dumplings, but we call them Popeye. And then there are the, what my mom called dumplings that were fluffy. Um, she made a wetter dough consistency and then she'd drop them in there and they'd puff up and those we call dumplings and uh, down south they have different names for them uh, we also call you know I know people call it stuffing but to me it was always turkey and dressing dressing ever since I've been a kid stuffing's been called dressing and when I say dressing that's usually what I mean um, but, you know, just things like that, um, I've been getting out and doing things, um, sitting outside, mainly if I get too cold in the house with an air conditioner, I'll go outside and sit. Uh, Reuben, he's being a good boy, he's growing up some, I'm finally going to be a great grandmother, I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of things going on now. So, um, 
I'll talk to you later because, wow, I've talked on here a long time. Like, I think I'm on the telephone with you. So, I'm glad to be back. I love you all, and you have a great day. Bye.